All right, guys. Tending some business here. Trying to get things rolling. That was a stream performance. I restarted my computer. Hopefully it's better. Let me know. Please. I don't think Stu can make that seven ball. No, maybe he can. Wow. That's a great shot. I didn't think he could buy the eight. Let's play a safe. Very nice. Imagine I kick the eight from behind. Try to leave the cue ball up on the nine. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Page three. Stay behind the nine. One rail kick off the bottom rail. It's going to leave the eight ball wide in the table. Unless he can get it kind of straight down the table on the end rail. That would be optimal. Leave right in the side pocket. It's going to draw this back for the nine. He followed it off the point. Very nice. Gets the first one. for good matchups today. You guys are watching the uh, the final day of the nine ball state championship here in Buster's Billiards in beautiful Summersworth, New Hampshire. We had 64 players and we're down to the final, uh, however many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Final nine players. Ryan Lynham is on the winner's side. And so is Carlos Aguilar. So I think Carl's going to go home with quite the payday today. Well deserved.
Ready to go warn Derek McCarthy of the rules. There is no talking to anybody during an act of rack. Your opponent, your girlfriend, your dog, anybody. Just trying to be respectful to your opponent and players around you. Stu's got a tough shot here. He should be able to go straight into the rail and come across with a seven. He's going to make this six. Get straight on the seven and draw back for the eight. Oh, he's going to play the seven on the side and come around three rails. Get a nice shot. Can he, I don't know. Be a thin hit, but he should be able to cut that in the side and spin around three rails. Oh, I just missed the point. Unfortunate on that one. It's one zero. You should have two. Did you mark it on the score? I don't know. I'm gonna show one online. Jason, what's happening, buddy? Guys, it's one to one, right? Saskin on the stream. They kind of mixed up their scores. Uh, Stu was asking. Zen, did I say bye to you yesterday before you left? I don't remember. But if I didn't, I apologize. It was great seeing you, my friend, and I look forward to uh, a BBQ sooner than later. I see the little half point, which is probably not a half point anymore. And Megan. One to one. Let's put a couple balls on the break. So right now we got Jimmy New playing Bow Powers. It's 4-2 Bow, and that's a race to five. And then uh, we got Derek McCarthy playing Stu Ramey, and that's the table you're watching on the match. And then the wings we got Dave Hall, Dev Bacha, Summit Sam, and then on the I guess the hot seat match is Ryan Lynham versus Carlos Aguilar. They'll be played later on today because they're both on the winner's side. Ross Myers, what's happening, my friend? Doesn't seem there's much interest in a second chance tournament. I had three people, and I announced it a couple times. So I don't think there'll be a second chance tournament. Probably people are spent after spending umpteen hours here playing pool.
was asked to watch a hit, but he wasn't going to do the split. I restarted my computer. Is it better now? I'm watching it on my phone. It looks fine. Make it cross cross side. And just play right on top of it. Stu called a foul on himself. I would expect it out of Stu, though. Stu's a person all about respect and honesty. Seven ball. Shots do six on the side. Play 
might follow over to the rail and back over for the eight. That's a sharp cut. The shots too. Two two. Guys, join us this Friday night for our Friday night fight here. We're going to have Carl Chapman versus Steve Sutton. Nine ball race to seven. Uh, Mr. 603 is straight back from Vegas. That'll be this Friday's challenge match. Here's our schedule. Uh, Steve's going to be taking over for the summer, so it's not filled up yet. Waiting for his dates when he's available. But outside of the summer hours, you get a hold of Brett Chansky to schedule a Friday night fight, but over the summer, you get to get a little Steve Sutton on Facebook. Mike Pettit, how are you, sir? Carlos, what's going on, buddy? Craig, it was very nice to meet you this weekend. Thank you very much for those kind words, sir. I tried to be transparent in everything I did and tried to do the best I could for the players. So just so everyone knows if that nine ball would have fallen, that nine ball would spot and uh, Tarek would continue shooting. I think Stu's going to play safe. Try to just call him the nine. Okay, I'm back. Just got by that seven. 
play the nine ball here. Like they took a quick break, bathroom break. Guys, make sure you're checking out uh, Clayton Rocha, CR12 Q, if you want to buy a, a Q. When you're in the New England area, get a hold of Clayton Rocha, 781-838-0117 for high-end Qs. And we're not talking McDermott's, we're talking high-end uh, Zimbonis and... Uh, Ariel Carmelis, Mike Bender. I can't even think of other cubes manufacturers. This uh, Peach Hour. He's a dealer for Peach Hour. So make sure you check out Clayton Rocha CR12 Qs. If you want to buy a house or sell a house, get a hold of Adam Vicotter in for Remax Realty One, 603-957-0067. Be right back, guys. Well, um, what do, what's the rule? What's the question? I never say anything about that in my rules. I know, but that should not be allowed. I'm sorry, when we're in a match, you can't practice while you're in a match. You cannot practice while you're in a match. I didn't define that, so I have to define that in the future because I didn't define that. Okay, well, I told him he couldn't do it himself, but I'm just saying that has to be in there. That's crazy. I'm sorry. I, you agree with me? Yeah. I didn't write it in there. Well, it seems to be. <laughs> you got to cover every nuance. And it's common sense. If you're in a match, you shouldn't be hitting other balls. I'm getting drilled. All of everyone out there that plays tournaments, if you're playing in a tournament, and your opponent goes to the bathroom. Are you allowed to hit balls on a, a vacant table next to you? I would think not. Uh, that's written in Mike DeMarco's rules. I did not define that granular with rules. I would think that's common sense, but apparently it's not. You guys, if you got a golden retriever and you're in the New Hampshire area, especially the Seacoast area, make sure you get a hold of Golden Leash 603, Missy Garland, CPR, pet first aid certified, 20 years of experience, fully insured, 603-509-8850, right here in Rochester, New Hampshire. So make sure you check that out. If you got a golden retriever and he's a little TLC, that's the place to take her. Need a little pool cue repair down in the Massachusetts area. Jack Taransky, JT Pool Cue Repair, 978-729-9444. And if you're down by Air Massachusetts by the Billiard Cafe, you can check out the Red Dragon Billiard Club and Training Center, courtesy of uh, Roy Pastor. It's the home of the uh, Junior Training Academy. It's right down the road from the Billiard Cafe. He's got five or six tables in there. It's like a private billiard club. You pay to get an access card, and you get 24-hour access. And um, he also has an online instructor course, AmericanPoolSchool.com. PBA is certified instructor. Become one. Right now he's working with uh, 
division called Pool for Change, which is a development program in South Africa to teach juniors how to play pool. Uh, if you mention the Friday Night Fights, he'll give you $100 off tuition price. Roy is one of 26 PBA master instructors in the world. So make sure you check that out. Don't miss out on those opportunities. All right, Derek's back to the table. We're back to action. It's 4-4. Four, four. Here's a race to five. I don't think he got five to seven enough to make that six. Going for the bank. Mom's going for the save. Get underneath the seven. Oh, it's kind of an easy kick for Derek. Great kick, unfortunately, with a bad result, but he's going to play the seven in the corner. Just kind of come up table just a little bit to get on the eight. He wants to get a little bit of an angle on that eight to come out for the nine. Yep. You ready to go now? on four. That's what I'm trying to do. Look, buddy. Hold on one sec, guys. Good, how you doing, buddy? Didn't think I'd see you here. Yes, sir. Got a good match. Stu Rainey and uh, Derek McCarthy. Huh? A little bit. Thank you for the other night. Appreciate it. Seriously, thank you. Carlos is shooting really good. Do you know Carlos Aguilar? And Ryan Lynham? Ryan's a monster. He's like a 700. He's been steamrolling. Dave Hall's playing, right? You know Dave Hall? He's playing on table four. 
Yeah, just starting Dave Powers and Dave Hall. That'd be a good match to watch. I'm trying to check my money here. Nine through twelve. I gave him money. I haven't seen Jimmy yet. I gave Walter his money. I haven't seen Jimmy. Jimmy New still here? Better be. There he is over there. I'll be right back, guys. All right, we're going to have uh, Mr. Jim Rydell in the booth with me here momentarily. How you doing, Jim? Doing good. Doing good. Welcome. Yeah, a little To the final ball. day of the uh, the pool extravaganza here at Buster's Billiards. Really? Yes. How many people are left? One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Eight? You're down to eight players? Wow, that's good. And we brought back the final 16 from last night. And we went to about one in the morning. Oh, really? <laughs> so I wanted to stop at well, one, but I wanted to get the final eight. But we ended up getting 
Some matches were like two and a half hours. Wow. Huge grinders. And the race is to seven? On the winner's side, yes. One lost side is a race to five. I had no real interest in the second chance tournament. I got three people that signed up. Hmm. So you can't really have a tournament with that. <laughs> Not much of one anyways. Plus they got APA in here and So he's got to try and busy. play safe behind this four ball. Oh, no, he didn't. He came out. I don't know why he came out. Take the rack off the table now before it becomes an issue, right? Yeah. He usually doesn't, but you don't like that distraction sitting down there. Nope. And Johnny Archer doesn't like a piece of lint on the table. So. For the most part, I've had zero um, issues. Oh, excellent. 64 no, man no, tournament no, running no, no two personal, days. No personal issues. Everybody's, Everybody's being getting nice. along. Yeah. Well, I got rules in place. I had to talk to a couple people. Uh, one person wow. slammed the cue down the table and I reprimanded him and he apologized. And then, um, you know, you're not supposed to talk to anybody during an active rack. Yeah, I heard you say that. Uh, and Friday I'm going to warn Derek already once in this match. Is that busy over there on the rail and I went over and said something to him and he apologized and Stu's got his headphones in so yeah. be a little bit lenient but and there was a couple of times where people were sitting next to the player and I was like are you okay with him sitting there? Goes, yeah for now. So if it comes an so issue they don't say anything. <laughs> yeah. Well I'm just trying to be respectful. I want the game to be the Whoa. two players and the table. I don't want to see That was a little chin on that. That's the whole goal. So let me ask you this. Yes, sir. So I had an issue come up a few minutes ago and it's a rule that Mike DeMarco uses, who's uh, highly, highly respected in the billiard world as far as tournaments. If you are in a match and your opponent takes a break are you allowed to hit balls on another on an adjacent table? No, there's no practice during a match. I wouldn't think so. But Samut just hit me up over there about it, and he said, well, we're playing amateur pool. We're not professionals. Yeah. No, there's no I practice. I wouldn't think you should be able to hit balls. APA doesn't even allow it, so there you go. Who doesn't? <laughs> no, APA. Oh, well, there you go. No practice during there's play. There's no more professionalism than APA. <laughs> <laughs> if they do it, then That's no. a great shot by Derek. Yeah. Now you go talk to Stu. Yeah, this is going to be good. Uh, Stu said, nice shot, and you're not allowed to talk to anybody during an active rack. Right. I'm just trying to be respectful. Right. So Derek the hits the ball pretty good, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a good player. He's a little bit animated. Seems aggravated with other people in the room right now. Yeah, he's... He hears everybody. You what? Is it? Huh? So Derek's on the bottom. Sue's on the top. For what? On your scoring. No, they're doing it oh, online. Oh, I know it up there. I'm talking on here. Oh, I'm not even doing it here. Oh, you're not? Oh, they're doing it? They're doing it online. Oh, uh, okay. Through the app. Oh, so you're not even keeping score? Nope. Not uh. as long as they're doing it on the app.
Are they alternating the break? Yep. Oh, okay. I just got here, folks, so I'm not sure of all the rules that are going on. Yeah, that came out a little bad. It could have come out better. Yeah. I'm going to take the rack off the table now before it becomes an issue. Stu's pretty good at that. Huge thank you again to Outsville for uh, sponsoring the event and sending me the racks. Chris Renfer from Outsville. Thank you. You gotta be committed to this shot if you're gonna play it. Sue's a pretty strong player. Yeah, let's say he should have had inside English and come over. I didn't like the way he the, the last track he called something. I it was too petty. Yeah. He said that Derek picked up the cue ball when it was rolling, but it was rolling down the middle of the table. It was after the rack. Doesn't matter. Can't touch it till it stops. I don't have that in a rule. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's implied probably, but. Yeah. Seems not playing too safe, though. His safeties are like. Not very strong. I think he's, uh, he's a little agitated, to be honest. I can see by his body language. There's a little bit of tension here. Is this uh, no loss side? Yes. Race to five. Derek is on the hill. No. The no loss side, I thought it was race to seven. No. One lot. I thought you said one loss. Oh no, oh, it's no, a one it's loss a side. Okay. Yeah. Winner side is a race of seven. It's only two people in that, and that'd be Ryan Lynham and Carlos Aguilar. So this one, you should go rail first. That way, you can come around to the four on the side. If you go ball first, you have to play the four all the way up. Unless he tries to draw it over, but I can't imagine. I'm just gonna try to go rail first. Oh, yeah. You got lucky there. Yeah. Played that way too tight. Man, you got shit roll right there. <laughs> yeah, four goes. He's going to try to play the five in the side. Carry him off the four. Make them both. No. No, just cut the four in. The side? Yeah. Uh, I think he's going for the... I don't uh, know what he's going for. That I thought he was going for the carry. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you can back up the four to the corner. We can play the four up by the seven. Yeah, four by the, the cue ball across the table by yeah. the six. Come right. out for the five. Four by the up by the seven is probably a better shot, though. You just punch it to the side rail and out, and you'll have the five. Big shot here, though. If he four in the this, corner. Yeah. Yeah. He, either way, if he makes the four, he should be a winner. If he misses the four, he should be a loser. So he's back cutting it. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's just gonna float yeah. over by the nine. Watch out for the nine now. Okay, he did good. He's good. He's gonna go to the end rail. End rail. Come out for the six. Spin it to the left. Yep. Just center left on this is all you need. I think he's drawing it straight over. That yeah, works. I didn't know he had that good at an angle. Now, if he doesn't mind long shots, just shoot, stop, shoot, stop, shoot, stop. <laughs> yeah. Stop, stop, go. Eric is watching. Yeah, he's a tough shot, so it's not easy. Uh, for 600 players, straight in shouldn't be too tough. 
I saw it. It's going to fall just down to the rail. Yeah, it's got a little bit of an angle. That's how weak the and floor is here. And it's smoother, you know, hitting the ball like that than trying to stop it. Yeah. Take care if he doesn't hit this nine. You can play this soft and play the nine where he's standing, or you can hit a little bit firmer and come across table, play the nine in the other corner. Maybe he's going to make sure he doesn't hit the nine when he shoots the seven. It's a foul if he does. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be. You never know. That seven moves a hair. I mean nine, nine, you mean. <laughs> the seven better move. <laughs> yeah, he's not even close to the nine. Whoa. That was touchy. So he's playing it in the side. Yep. Just straight top, roll it in. No big deal. He's just gathering his thoughts now, getting ready. Just the commonest. Doesn't nerves. wanna don't wanna rush it. Yep. It's one thing a lot of players do they make a good shot and then they rush the last shot and they oh miss yeah it. they get so excited they change their mindset there you go you got a winner all right let me uh figure out what the next one is